Welcome back! We're playing more Ocarina of Time today, and things are going to be a little bit more upbeat. The last episode was a little too somber for my liking, but here we are. Hyrule Castle Town, finally, and everybody knows about this room. But in case you don't, it's the Rupee Room. Smash every pot you can find, and you'll get rupees for days, which is going to be important because uh, fairly soon we're going to need to get a new shield, and you just want to make sure that you got everything maxed out. And actually, we can go up and talk to this guy. Man, I am so bored. Things would sure be more fun around here if there were more troubles in the world. Hey, that's just between you and me, okay? Anyway, maybe we can let off some steam by breaking these jars. Stand near a jar and press A to lift it. Press A again to toss it. I don't know, I was going for like a surfer dude at first, and then it went southern accent. It's a learning experience on this channel, and I am happy to have you with me for the entire process. But yeah, let's uh, just keep going. Uh, I like to usually keep a full wallet in Zelda. And you know, Zelda doesn't really utilize the rupees too well. There's only like uh, several, you know, probably two or three key items per game that you absolutely need to buy. And everything else you need is available. Oh, Skulltula. We got him, and we got ourselves a coin. Um, I'll find out. I'll, I'm not, I'll find out. I'll show you where um, we turn those tokens in when we get to it. I'll make sure to do that. But anyway, yeah, rupees, uh, you can buy, like, items and shit, like sticks and nuts and whatever. But the game does a good enough job at making sure that you're never going to be out. There's no reason to waste your money on it. So here we are. We're in the super lively market in Hyrule Castle Town. And if you played Majora's Mask, you'll recognize a lot of these characters, but they're not even closely the same as they are in that game. And look at this badass with the beard here. I wonder I wonder how he helped when Ganon took over. This beard is my pride and joy. Doesn't it look luxuriant, kid? I don't know how my voices are doing today. Yeah, these gross public display of affection people. Ooh, look at this lady's face from this distance on the higher graphic settings. Oh, she's horrendous, my god. But anyway, yeah, this is the market, and as the game goes on, we'll talk to more people, but this little cutie right here is very important, so we'll talk to her right now. Hey, your clothes, they're different. You're not from around here, are you? Oh. You're a fairy boy from the forest. My name's Malin. My dad owns Lon Lon Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk, and he hasn't come back yet. You know what I just realized? Every, I've given everyone a southern accent so far, and this little girl lives on a goddamn ranch, and I didn't even think to give her a little southern charm. Ah, oh God. All right, Navi, what's up? What you gonna tell me? The great Tiku tree wanted us to go to visit the princess in Hyrule Castle. Should we get going? Okay, I'm gonna talk to her one more time. I think you have to talk to Malin twice to get her to show up. No, I'm crazy. So yeah, we're gonna uh, go up to the castle. And this is the last place where time cycles on a day-night cycle that I didn't mention in the last episode. Here we are, I saw a little fuckboy owl waiting to ambush us with text. Oh, you son of a bitch, oh jeez, look at his head. Okay, yes, the princess is clearly inside the castle. We've had several people tell us this the entire time. Do you want to hear what I said again? Yeah, he's such a bitch. Yeah, I know I'm a smart kid. I'm not falling for your shit, Al. I learned my lesson when I was a youngster, okay? But anyway, so now let's go ahead and move forward and see how we can get into this castle. Looks like there's a gate, but maybe this guard's nice and he'll let us in. So, you say you want to see Princess Zelda, eh? You probably heard about her in town and decided you had to meet her. Well, go home! Get out of here! The princess would never grant an audience to the likes of you! And Link went back to the forest, dejected, and Hyrule was lost forever. But nah, what we really gotta do, guys, calm down. I'm not a fool. We gotta wait until nighttime. Which, uh, in retrospect, I wish I would have just come in while it was still dark, and then this would have gone by a lot quicker. But hey, if the commentary gets dry, we're just going to edit it out. You're not even going to probably listen to this. It's, it's no big deal, guys. So yeah, here we go. 
8.01 p.m. Finally, we got that wolf howling. That means it is officially nighttime, and I'm going to work my way back into Castletown just for a second, though. And there's a bunch of fun mini games and stuff that we can do, too. Uh, I'll definitely slow the pace down as necessary, but for now, let's just go ahead and uh, keep on pushing through. Oh, and we hear that singing. Looks like Malin's here. He must have missed her on the way back. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do. Tee hee! Oh yeah! If you'll look for him, I'll give this to you. I've been incubating this egg very carefully. Tee hee! God, I make fun of my girlfriend all the time. Well, she doesn't. Her mom will like tee hee. And I'll make fun of it, and she hates when I do it, so I can't wait to show her this episode. It's going to be great. But anyway, we have the egg. And uh, what is special about that is we can let it hatch overnight. So, yeah, we've got more waiting to do. Man, I, I don't know how I didn't see this coming. But I will uh, catch you when the sun comes up. I'm just going to hang out and listen to this nice little song. Oh, and I guess I'll explain the reason that I'm going to wait is because uh, security is increased in the castle at nighttime. So I'm kind of screwed. I can't really sneak in. I'm sure it might be possible, but I've never attempted it. So I will catch you guys in a few hours. Six and a half hours later. We back, fam. Suns are coming up. Roosters are crowing. And uh, looks like we got a chicken hatched from the egg. Gonna be very useful. But man, I forgot how much they make you wait right here. That's kind of a bummer. Anyway, time to uh, sneak a little bit into this castle. So I don't take the ladder. That's just a waste of time. Jump down here. You don't even need to worry about it. And now this part, oh man, it, I hated it when I was a kid. Such anxiety, my God. But it's not that hard as an adult. You just got to run in at the perfect angle and... Uh, they're not going to see you, even if you're, like, right next to them, pretty much. We'll climb up this little uh, wall here, that that blurry little texture. I guess we can make out a rock climbing wall. It's better on a CRT, but those days are behind most of us. Not me. I got one. I got a nice sunny Trinitron upstairs with all my old consoles hooked up to it. All right. And now I'm pretty fucking sure we got to wait more. Oh, no, we'll be fine. I'm gonna hurry though, because. Oh, looks like we found Malin. Malin <coughs> excuse me, Jesus. Looks like we found Malin's dad. What in tarnation? Can't a person get a little shut eye around here? Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. What? Malin was looking for me. I'm going to catch it from her now. I messed up bad leaving Malin behind to wait for me. She's really going to let me have it. And there goes that wacky Mario ripoff. All right, so we got some milk crates here. I don't know if he's just leaving it at the door or what, but we got to push some crates, and I hope that we can get this pushed down before night comes because I don't want to wait around anymore. I'm going to play Zelda and show you guys the inside of the castle. Link is such a crafty little kid. Sneaking in through that little, uh, oh, boat excess frame. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Super engaging commentary as useful on uh, the official Frags O'Neill YouTube channel. Thanks for sticking around. Pushing crates all day long. Oh, man, I, I think I see the sun going down a little bit. I am not waiting. We are not waiting. This is a group effort. Y'all are with me in spirit. I feel it. I feel it. Okay, let's jump across. And we'll go ahead and scoot in. There we go. We made it. And it is the castle courtyard. Oh, this is just terrifying when I was a kid. First one's pretty easy. Uh, we'll let him walk on past. And if they see us, they'll throw us back out by the milk. So they're they're nice enough to not kick us fully out because, uh, 
I don't know. They're not very good at their jobs, I suppose. But you can get up, like, pretty decently close behind them. But you cannot be in their field of view. Which is, uh, you know, I haven't been caught in a while. So now I know automatically I'm going to get caught. But I remember it being uh, pretty strict. And they tempt you with some rupees right there. That red rupee that's worth 20 rupees. Take it slow. Just kidding. I'm going to sprint across full force and we'll be fine. All right. I think I can make this. Feel good about it. There we go. And this last part's a piece of cake, to be honest. They are a little bit closer together than I remember, though. But you can, like, pretty much just run up behind the, the slower guy right here. Oh, come on, man. I'll be honest, until I was talking about it, I didn't really realize how much waiting there is in the beginning of this game. Which is, uh, I don't know, maybe a little knock that I'd never seen before. But that's okay. Every time you play through a game that you played before, you're playing it with a, you know, as a new person, basically. Especially if some more time's passed. So it's totally cool to uh, realize some shortcomings about games you consider to be masterpieces. Nothing's perfect. But here we are. We got that little girl up there. And I would reckon she's Princess Zelda. Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Oh? What's that? Is that... A fairy? Then, are you... Are you from the forest? Then, then, you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Well, do you have it? Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy. Someone, anyone, would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story, and I didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Link. Change. It sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please, keep this a secret from everyone. A little, uh, little Zelda 1 reference right there for anybody who don't get it. Hey. The legend goes like this. And I'm going to stick with the standard of practice of just kind of talking over these cutscenes and telling you what's going on. Just because I don't have any control over how fast the, um, the text goes. But she's expanding more on the three goddesses and their role with the Triforce. So, it turns out that the Triforce has the power to grant the wish of anybody who touches it. And if someone that's good touches it, like Link or Zelda, it's going to be an Age of Prosperity. But if Ganon touches it, someone who's bad, I mean, I'm just using him as an example, uh, it's an Age of Chaos and Destruction. And, you know, pretty standard affair for Hyrule throughout the ages. But the Agent Sages... Um, built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce in the Sacred Realm. So they kind of made like a failsafe by uh, making the temples across Hyrule, as well as the Temple of Time, and sealing that away behind the Door of Time. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open that door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. Ocarina of Time. That's the name of the game. Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yeah, I got you. That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, 
I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window? We'll take a peek. What's the harm in that? Oh man, I don't know who that guy is, but he sure looks like a badass. Make a great Smash character. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. Her? What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I, I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. Okay, I don't believe you. Nah. You seem legit, girl. Thank you! I... I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. Boom! We got Zelda's letter. Zelda's autograph, pretty much. And uh, surprisingly, yes, this will help us along. And when we get there, we'll see. My attendant will guide you out of the castle. Don't be afraid to talk to her. Alright, well, uh, I think she knew we were here the whole time. But yeah, look up here. In the N64 version, uh, you got some nice Mario portraits. Peach, Bowser, Mario and his wing cap. And if you throw bombs through, a uh, guard will come and throw another bomb down at you. I don't have any on me, but that would have been funny. Okay, it, it looks pretty intimidating, huh? I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. And we are learning our first Ocarina song, finally. And it's one of the most iconic songs in the series, Zelda's Lullaby. Um, it was her theme in A Link to the Past and has become symbolic for Zelda in every game after that. Even Breath of the Wild gets a nice little remix of it. It's awesome. Yeah, it looks like we're running a little bit long on this one, but uh, I had to get these story elements in. I don't like starting episodes with uh, long exposition. I want to get you all right into the action. So if you're still hanging around, I hope you're having a good time, and I appreciate you. And Zelda's Lullaby is down. We got it. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. And here we go. We're finally free. I I seriously think that all this like talking and exposition is going to slow down for a while. You brave lad. We must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up in Death Mountain. Sorry, I was reading too fast. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only the royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help you to prove your connection with the royal family. 
The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. All right, we're counting on you. Boom, ninja. Good old Sheikah. I hope she ends up in Smash as an Echo Fighter. I think that'd be pretty cool for Sheik. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and call it then. Uh, thanks for sticking around on this long one. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And uh, as always, take care. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, and we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this episode, hit subscribe. I upload twice a day, got plenty of content for you. And if you like N64 games, check out my Star Fox videos linked above. Take care, y'all.